welcome to Panthaki Learn. Thank you for watching our video. If you like this video, kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Lossy compression. This is nothing but whenever we are compressing that particular image size, therefore the quality of the image also gets lost. Uh, the thing is, uh, the perfect example I can say, it is nothing but our YouTube or any of the uh, prime videos or any movie watching uh, streamers. Once the network gets deflected, they will try to reduce the size of uh, that particular display over there or that particular streaming. That's why only from HD, they will be just converting into the SD. This is known as 480 pixels. And uh, from that, whenever we just go for this kind of compressions, all the clarity video will be converted into box box, which is known as the pixels. So uh, if you are just using any of the 1080 pixel display or 4K display means you won't be able to clearly view that. If your display is for 240 means, then you will be able to view that particular 240 converter one. So this types of conversions only here we can say it as lossy compressions. So this particular lossy compressions, they are mostly used to compress multimedia data, audio, video and images, especially for internet or whatever they are sharing that particular images like WhatsApp, even whatever the things you are talking. So this and all comes under the uh, lossy compression. Even for machine learning and deep learning also, they will be using this lossy compression in the form of wavelet transforms. So that particular wavelet transforms are known as discrete wavelet transform and cosine wavelet transform. Okay, so now let us see what is that particular discrete wavelet transform. Okay, so here we are going to compress that particular image using discrete wavelet transform. And everyone is aware of that particular discrete word or discrete wavelet transform. So this particular thing, it is nothing but uh, applied in signal processing for compression purpose. So here, what type of signal we are going to compress? It is nothing but the image. So by providing that CD input, the file path where the code has been stored, that is known as the file path. It will be reading all this type of images and I have to pick an image from that and that image will be displayed. Now that image, I will be resizing it into 256, 256 in order to compress it as easy as possible. So that particular image therefore will be converted into the grayscale by using RGB to gray function. So this comes under the pre-processing techniques. Noted, it? it comes under the pre-processing techniques and therefore that image also will be displayed and therefore it is named as gray section. Now from this gray image only, we are going to select the compression levels. Okay on the order of second on the order of discrete wavelet transform for second order here that particular data will be provided as input okay so how the compression is applied so from this gray image whatever we are providing so this is known as the first level first level of second order the first level it starts for low 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 high high low and high high so whatever the discrete wavelet transform it is read it will be stored into the different parts. Okay, so these are the four parts available for the TWT. Now, from this particular variable, this can be taken as a set of variable. So there are different different variable. Now, here I am declaring a variable and therefore that particular variable will be split into two. In which two parts means LL, low, 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 high, high, low, high, high. So into that particular sections, it will be separated. So from that particular separation, therefore, we will be displaying what type of level it is, which is for DB1. So the same DB1, the second level decomposition, like LL1, LH1, HL1, HH2. Okay. So here, what kind of data here we'll be applying means the LL part. They'll be applying the four decomposition level. And from that, we are going to take the input as LL part. So that LL with DB1, then LL2, which is taken from here for DB1. So this is fourth level. Okay. So second level, it comes with LL. Third level comes with LL1 and fourth level with LL2. Each and every images can be displayed over here, but all uh, everything will be looking in the same format only. There, whatever we have taken, it comes under the pattern over there. So for each and every compression, we also have some values. Okay. That is known as compression values. We make it as a two value a one. Okay. So now all the particular sections has been displayed over here. 
yeah everything is clear how this particular uh, decomposition series has been applied means now take this a1 so that particular a1 will be like from the section of this particular data for compression if you go for a2 so 2 means from whatever we have stored into the a1 from that only the second part of compression will be taking and therefore the rest of the compression will be taken place and similarly for a4 and finally all the images will be compressed over there okay so now we can run the code now i'm going to take an uh, scan image scan image of the brain for compression purpose okay so now all the compressions has been done now let us move to the first okay so this is nothing but the different different values of each and every section of image whatever it has been read for the dwd part so for each and every purpose like a1 a2 whatever we have provided for the display that values will be displayed over here now how the image compression can be varied in the sense these are the different levels so this is the original one so this is gray converted image and this is the first order of a particular sorry first level of second order compression okay so here you can see how the image has been compressed now let us see each and every part so this is nothing but aa and the first one which you have seen it is aa this is aa1 aa2 aa3 aa4 and finally the last decomposition whichever we have seen that particular aa4 only here it has been applied so this will be the final compression which we will be training uh, for uh, glcm purpose or we will be taking into the neural network and this is known as the loss compression lossy compression so that particular loss values only here we can see but anyway we won't be able to see like uh, size functions over here these are the losses which has been occurred inside the image compression part so how to use stationary wavelet transform over here so first <laughs> clc clear all close all taking cd input and uh, input file will be read and therefore the plane separations will be done okay in case the plane separation is not applied for the size oriented uh, sections means uh, we can directly just provide into the color conversion known as rgb to gray and therefore that image also will be displayed okay so here uh, since i am planning for providing that uh, fusion part like watermark for that only here two sets of images i am providing okay and therefore the same process is done for the another image first uh, we have to apply the noise removal for that particular image using the median filter of uh, second order so therefore that is known for median filter over here that also will be applied over there and now here we will be applying this stationary wavelet transform there we have chosen as a discrete wavelet transform which is known as the discrete will be moving from one place uh, one point to another point so we cannot be able to predict uh, or that is not a stable one stationary it nothing but the point will not be moved and it will be in a stable part okay so now here we have declared this variables and we have provided the stability of second order so from that whatever the data we have been previously pro uh, processed with the uh, removal of noise that image will be taken over here as input okay and from there we will be taking it as sw1 so nothing but the first level and similarly all the levels we will be taking it like calling from the previous section and from that here we will be taking it over to the next section so this is known as the multiple sections for all the two images whichever we have selected okay so now i will just uh, run this program so here i am selecting this as image and i am selecting this color image okay so now let us come from the first yeah so here i have taken only the image one series this is the input image pre-processed image of input and this is the noise removal of input image one and this is the stationary wavelet transform of image one okay now let us move for the image two the, this particular image two it comes under the uh, sections like uh, color image okay because here we cannot differentiate any of the color variations so the pre-process part noise removal part and the compression part okay so here it is completely set as the compression sections so we can just compare how this particular sections are being applied okay so on this basis only the stationary wavelet transform also will be able to compress an image 
and uh, I have forgotten uh, you to show this uh, particular normal colored image in discrete wavelet compression because we have seen an MRI scan image which is not a color image even though it has been converted into grayscale the features will be varied over there so once again I will run this and I will provide this as input okay so this is the input image grayscale the first level of compression so here you can see how the patterns has been taken over here second level the normal DWDU first, le first level this is second level sorry for that third level fourth level and the final so this will be the last level of compression here we can see that particular patterns so that is known as the compressed pattern well compared to the original level so that makes a difference for uh, the discrete wavelet transform as well as the stationary wavelet transform thank you for watching our video if you like this video kindly click on the like button and share the video to your friends don't forget to subscribe our channel.